Hi everyone, my name is Adriana. I'm one of the academic success coaches um, in the Testing and Tutoring Center. Um, and what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is just how to study with another person or finding the right study partner for you. Um, so there's several things to kind of keep in mind when it comes to studying with another person. Um, so the first thing that's really important is really understanding whether this person is reliable and also has similar like studying styles as well as interests um, with you because sometimes if we study with someone um, who may um, have differences when it comes to how they study, um, may not have the exact same interests or exact same majors as us, um, it can be really difficult to kind of maintain our attention as well as focus as we're studying with this person. Um, so when you start identifying who's going to be a really good studying partner for you, you want to kind of like have those things in mind. Um, but not only that, you want to also consider, well, what times of days actually work best for us in order for us to um, get really get something out of this whole studying session, right? Because sometimes you may be a morning person, so you tend to study better in the morning time. However, if you find a study partner that tends to study better um, at night, it can be really difficult um, to kind of maintain your focus as well. So you want to have those in mind um, as you are picking like the right studying partner as well. But also you want to ensure that you're studying with someone that really wants to help you. Um, but also if at any point in time you want to maintain like a friendship with this person, um, that would be something that you will have to consider too when you're choosing like the right studying partner. So when you do the right studying partner that um, enjoy studying at the same time, whether it's in the morning or nighttime or afternoon. Um, someone that is not only reliable, but also have the exact same interests as well as the same major as you. Um, but someone that you could see yourself having like a friendship with towards the end. You want to also consider how many people that you're going to be studying with. So rule with them. I do not recommend, and I've told some students about this as well, I do not recommend studying with more than three people. Um, because sometimes if you say with more than three people, you tend to get more distracted easily. It's not really productive. And sometimes you may not get um, the help that you really would like um, during your studying session. So it's always important to kind of keep it at a max of two, like you and your and another person or two studying partners as you're going through your studying session. And once you start identifying and you pick the right partner to kind of study with you, it's important that you treat um, your study session very professionally, right? So for example, it's okay to take breaks throughout, but you want to ensure that you are reviewing and you're taking turns reviewing, reviewing the material for one, um, because the reason why it's, it's, it's increasing not only your understanding, but your partner's understanding the material and really gauge how much you need to kind of refresh or kind of review um, as you're studying for the exam. But not only that, one thing that's important as you're taking turns you're reviewing the material really um take the time to quiz each other as well um one thing i've done when i used to study in groups um especially with one of my friends in my program is that we will actually quiz each other um and what i would typically do is i would just say something out loud um and if i knew the answer i would just say it um but if not she would kind of like chime in and then say something for me and I think that's really helpful because it also kind of helps you identify, okay, so how does my partner study and what will work out best for them as well as for me as I'm going through this process. So when you do that too, um, and as you start um, quizzing each other um, and you're taking turns reviewing, it's super, super important as I for to minimize distractions. And the reason why I say this is that when you're studying, you want to make sure that you are very um, efficient, but also you're remaining productive. And sometimes we may be in a study group where it lasts for about an hour or two hours, and unfortunately we may not get a lot done if we are distracted by either social media, um, any topics that are talked about during the study session, where it's, whether it's food or whatever it may be. Um, so you want to ensure that you are staying as productive as possible and you minimize actions for yourself. And finally, one thing that's really helpful as well to kind of keep in mind as you're studying with your partner, if you're noticing that you're not really quite getting it or is really difficult for you to retain the information, really try to move on and really try to figure out, okay, how can I change this for myself? Or even ask feedback from your partner 
in regards to, well, how do you study this material? And the reason why that can be really helpful is because if you are really having difficulties with a particular topic or section of a exam or um, um, class, it's really important to kind of gauge, well, how is my partner studying this material and what can I take from my partner um, that's going to help me be successful as well. If you have like any other questions or need help when it comes to any other additional um, studying strategies or techniques, um, please make an appointment with the academic success coach.